Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to get custom app icons without it opening up in shortcuts. Because in the regular way, it'll open up in shortcuts and then go to the app. So here's just a demonstration. I'm just going to click on the YouTube and it'll just open up instantly. And even for Instagram, it'll just open up instantly. The way we're going to make these custom app icons is with shortcuts, but it doesn't like open up in shortcuts like before. So just go ahead and download the shortcut from the link in the description. Don't worry, it doesn't have any viruses, you can go through the shortcut. This is the same shortcut I use to make websites into apps. And we're using this shortcut because if you go into Safari and type any like app name, and then colon slash slash, it will show up a prompt to open it up in YouTube. So instead of a, U instead of a website URL, I mean, you can just put in the name YouTube and then call in slash slash and it'll open up in YouTube. So I'm just going to make it for a brave browser. So just make the profile name brave and just space done to make it empty space done for description. Spa and here you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it brave. If you want an empty name, you can just do space and then done. Oh, I just misspelled it. It doesn't matter. Here, just put the app name and then clone slash slash. It might be a different URL for each app, but I don't really know all of them. Identifier, make sure you put the name again and then put a logo for your app. Now just share and you can either email it or save it to your files. I would save it to my files and then save it to your downloads because the downloads is just better. And I'm just gonna replace it and then go to your files app. For some reason it didn't replace it so just delete it and then click on the mobile configuration it'll ask you to go to settings then profile downloaded and then you can install the profile now just install it and if you get this message just restart your phone and then once you do that go back to the files app click on that mobile configuration again and then install it now here it is already installed and it will show up on the home screen if you just go to your home screen it'll be right there. Once you click on it, it'll ask me for my Touch ID, but it actually works. Now, if this worked for you, please leave a like and subscribe because I post once a week and these videos are probably really useful for you. So just leave a like and subscribe with notifications so you never miss another video.